Hi, and welcome to Understanding Place Value. Before we get started, remember, your most important asset in learning mathematics is your teacher. Having said that, let's get started. Let's start with what you see falling on your screen. These symbols are the symbols used to represent the numbers in our number system. Any shape, mark, well anything that represents a number can be called a numeral. The word numeral is used interchangeably with the word digit. Just as there are 26 letters in our alphabet used to represent every word imaginable, the 10 digits up on your screen represent all the numbers in our base 10 system. How can we let 10 digits confuse us so much? Let's understand how these digits get their place value. The base number in describing place value is how many numerals we have to work with, two of which will be 1 and 0. Another way to understand this is we work in groups defined by the base. For us that would be groups of 10. Let's see this in action. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. Hey, well that didn't work. Let's try that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What happened is we set a place value to represent one group of 10 single items which we call 10. Here the zero has no value and serves as a placeholder to represent the number 10. Let's try that again, this time counting up in the tens place. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. What happened is we set a place value to represent one group of 10 groups of 10 single items, which we call 100. Here the zeros have no value and serve as placeholders to represent the number 100. Okay, so far we understand we use a base 10 number system. Because it is a base 10 system, there are only 10 digits to work with, two of which will be 0 and 1. To have these digits represent different values, columns are created. Each column represents a different place value. To understand place value, look at the digit you see, the column it is in, and what it would be multiplied by to give it its value. Remember, work in groups of 10. Every time we count up a group of 10 single items, we advance one more in the column to the left. So any digit you see in the tens place is multiplied by 10. Count up 10 more single items, we end up with two groups of 10 single items, which is 20, and so on. This grouping up of 10 single items goes on and on. As you should know, the digits in the ones column represent themselves, and anything multiplied by one is itself. This is key in understanding place value. So, any digit in the ones column is multiplied by one. Any digit in the tens column is multiplied by 10. Any digit in the hundreds column is multiplied by 100. This goes on forever. Think about that. 
If we could travel to the end of the universe, or space as we know it, behind that wall would just be more space. It's mind-boggling. Anyhow, as the numbers got larger and larger, the mathematicians created something called exponents. Maybe you heard of it referred to as to the power of. When a number multiplies itself by itself is the beginning of understanding exponents. Let's understand why we broke numbers down into expanded notation. We start with a simple number minding its own business and then we complicate things by taking each individual digit and have it stand alone to represent its place value. As we dissect each number further, you will agree each equation to hold true. As explained earlier, because we are working in a base 10 number system, each digit you see, with the exception of those in the ones place, is multiplied by 10, or a bunch of 10s, which are all related to the position or place they are in. So why expanded notation? If you notice, the number of zeros you see are directly related to the number of 10s that multiply the digit in every place value. You see one zero after the tens place, and any digit in the tens place is multiplied by 10. Two zeros after the hundreds place, and any digit in the hundreds place is multiplied by 100, or 10 times 10. Three zeros after the thousands place gives us 10 times 10 times 10. And for the 10 thousands place, the four zeros represent 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. I know you're tired of hearing this by now, but that just means you understand it. Let's look at the trillions place. Take notice of the commas, how they show up in every third column. This standard was created to keep track of all of the zeros. So a trillion is 1 times 10 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 times 10. I'm getting out of breath. Any number multiplied by itself is how we create exponents. In this case, there are four groups, each containing three zeros that give us a total of 12 zeros or 12 tens multiplying each other which can be written as 10 to the 12th so which do you want and don't forget numbers get larger than these 1 times 10 times 10 times 10 oh I know let's just say 1 times 10 to the 12th back to the numbers used more commonly 10,000 is 1 times 10 to the 4th, 1,000, 1 times 10 to the 3rd, 100, 1 times 10 squared, 10 equals 1 times 10 to the 1st, because any number to the 1st power is itself, and 1 is equal to 1 times 10 to the 0, because any number to the 0 power is 1. 1 times any number does not change that number, so let's simplify. That's better. Why is any number to the 0 power 1, yet 0 to the 0 power is not? Why can we multiply a number by 0, but to divide by 0 is undefined? I think it's time I speak about the rebel within the digits. The digit zero kind of follows its own agenda. We all understand zero to be null, nothing, nada. This is nothing. That rebel in the car is the digit used to represent nothingness.